Hello, this is Maz with Tiana Dynam. In this short tutorial, I'm going to explain about creating 1D compose lines throughout the height of the solid cylinder model. So I start with modeling a mock-up mock model. I just simply go to the plane, draw one circle representing the inner one, another one representing the outer one. Then I'm going to create one simple line here representing my thickness which is 20 in units so forget about the unit that I have here so I start to create one more line in the middle so basically the inner circle outer circle and the middle one represents my uh, compost line that I will distribute it throughout my say uh, cylinder the next step is I'm going to create surface between my outer and inner lines. For time being, I'm going to hide all my uh, circular lines. In 2D, I have this ring. I'm going to extrude it to create my solid model. My turn on my data axis in Z direction, you check the preview, click OK. So this is my cylinder. We can hide the surface. The next one is uh, assigning the material property and uh, say the physical property for the model. I go to material, create here from the database, I recall one of my existing material property. I click OK close. I go to the property this time. 3D, solid, solid, specify the corresponding material model, click OK. So now I'm going to go to mesh. You may go simply to auto mesh or map mesh is up to you. You go to auto mesh, solid, you click on here check how it looks, 10, not bad, click OK. So this is when you use uh, some sort of complex um, tetrahedron model. The next uh, approach is, uh, you can see here, is, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and the thickness was some sort of uh, 20 units. So what we're going to do, every one line in between, we're going to introduce a compose line. So I'm going to hide my, uh, before that, I would like to just again double check the height, because the first compose line will be here, so the height will be something around 10, and I'm going to give the thickness of 20 to that compose line, so that thickness will be covering here to here and in the outer direction, in the thickness direction. So I hide this mesh, I show my ring, so this is the uh, compose line, I show only. So here you can copy this in the first approach, you say this goes 10, and you can say uniform copy, it's something like this, but what we're going to do, we're going to eliminate every uh, one in the middle. So we have something like that, and if I show my mesh set, make it to some sort of um, maybe wire. So from side view, you can see these are the position of my compost lines in the middle of the, say, it, uh, my thickness, and distributed in height. So if I get any, uh, say, it, 
bendings, axial force uh, information in terms of membrane forces and other. So you you get for for instance one quarter, another one, another uh, segment, another segment. So you know exactly what are the forces, bending moments, shears per segments of this uh, wall or cylinder. I change my mesh set to uh, with edge. Maybe it's better that you see the element. So the next step is assigning the mesh to our compose lines. For that, I need to create a property. You go to 1D, you go to Compose, and here you say Composed to Composed, our reference material model, which is not important, and thickness is our unit thickness of this uh, said wall. So the thickness of wall is 20, but the thickness that here it counts is a 20 in height and 20 in depth, so basically in two direction. Then you may say out of plane, uh, I put it in a Z direction, click OK, close. So the next step is meshing these compose line. You go to mesh, Select them, uh, maybe more, click OK, so these guys will be here, and if you noticed what uh, when I wanted to mesh them, the Compose property were recognized here. So we have our Compose lines, we have our solid model, the next step is assigning the load and boundary condition. So this is a mock-up model. What I'm going to do, I'm going to assign some sort of boundary here. Support. I select the bottom part. Fix in all directions. And for top, I'm going to select random, for instance, uh, pressure. 3D element face, I'm going to select up to here, uh, minus 100, so it's something like that, and I'm going to select this part, so in kind of not even pressure, you can see there is a gap here. So the model is ready. I'm going to save it, so new compose line, and we can run the analysis. So simply from uh, FX, you recall the solver. It transfers all this information. When you want to introduce, the, uh, say, the surface pressure or anything else, you can define a function, you can define the normal value, different type of loading, there is no problem. So you run the analysis. I just show you in linear elastic, the rest also will be the same. Click OK, go here back, we import results. So uh, import. So here we have series of outputs uh, in terms of 1D. So if I, for instance, check on the shears or bendings or other direction of the bendings, in some cases uh, axial forces, but this is a very small value, so that's why you see some sort of discrepancies. But shear and bendings are much better. So this way you can kind of deal with your model and identify the bendings, shears, and axial forces per segment. So basically what you see here is for 20 uh, units height and 20 units tick. So hope you like this uh, tutorial and you could use it and utilize it based on your other and real 
applications. Thank you.